NHN. So the first step will be to install some dependency. So I will include this command in the description. I'm going to say sudo ufw allow 5678/tcp. Now, if you want to enable this, it'll say ufw reload. And you have to be root. Okay, so now it's enabled. Now the next steps are to install node, and I'll include these commands. It may take a minute or two. Okay, next I'm going to install node.js. sudo apt install node.js and y. Okay, it has completed installing, so now I'm going to check the versions. I'm going to type in node hyphen hyphen version. Okay, if it's installed, then npm hyphen hyphen version, and it's installed. Okay, we're good. Okay, so now I'm going to install and 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 n. I'm going to say sudo npm install hyphen g global n8n it has completed it took about four or five minutes to install and the next step is just to test it out i'm going to type in n8n and then i'm going to go over to a browser and um, enter the url and see okay i didn't get a okay Apparently, I need to be logged in as root to run it. So, sudo n8n. Okay, uh, now it appears to be starting up on port 5678. All right, so, so I'm going to log in. As, I've logged in as root. I'm going to set the environment variable to false and then run n8n. Now later I will set this up in my environment permanently, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to do it this way. So I'm restarting N8N. I stopped it. It's coming up on port 5678. Now let me go back to the browser and uh, give this a try again. Now I will enter the same URL. Just enter. And now we have N8N running on a local PC. So next I'll show how to enable it so that it runs automatically upon reboot. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit a file. You can use nano or vi. I use vi. But slash etc systemd slash system n8n.service. And this information will be in the description. I'm going to enter the information that I've provided, copy it exactly, and paste it in, and write it back out. Now, the next few steps involve creating an N8N user. I've already done this, but I'll include the commands to do this in the description. And also, I'm referencing in the description the tutorial. Uh, thank you to whoever wrote this tutorial. Um, I will provide a link to this so you can follow in detail. But the next step, steps I'm going to do, I'm going to run these as root. The first one is uh, sudo system control systemctl space daemon reload next sudo system control enable n8n and next system control start n8n 
now it started. Now, to test it out, I'm going to reboot. So I'm going to type in shutdown dash R now. So let's see what happens. And I need to be as root as that. All right, the reboot has completed, so I'm going to check the status. I'm going to type in sudo system ctl status n8n. And it's active running, which is great. So now I'm going to go over to a browser and see if it comes up. Okay, I'm back in my browser. And it is uh, not coming up. Uh, let me refresh. All right, um, I'm going to go back and set this in um, n8n.service. Uh, you can see the command I'm entering here. In here uh, are some environment settings for the service. So this is the ideal place to set this environment variable. So I'm just going to just copy a, a line here. And I'm going to set n8n n secure cookie secure underscore cookie equals false. Write that back out. Now I'm going to restart the service. Restart, system control restart, N8N. And it gave me a warning. So it's okay, it's telling me to do the system control daemon reload. Let me do that as well. All right, so I'm back in the browser. I'm going to just click refresh. And this damn thing is still not working. <laughs> Okay, it, it did not come up. And so I did system control status N8N. And it was showing that it was down. Actually, the first time I checked it, it showed that it was up. So it was up for a moment, but then it was going down. So I was getting inconsistent results. Uh, I just It just so happened that when I checked it, it was up and, and then later I checked it, it was down. So the way to troubleshoot this is it, look at the system log in var log and the, the log I want to check here is called syslog. I'm, I'm just going to bring this up and view it. I'm going to go to the bottom and then search backwards for n Eight n and I can see right here main process exited exec okay and so on basically the problem I'm having is it failed to locate executable user local bin n eight n now that is very likely supposed to be a symbolic link so I need to find out where it installed n eight n And I'm going to uh, say a file n8n. Okay, it's a symbolic link to this. Uh, so let me list this ls l user lib node modules n8n slash bin slash n. 8n. So that's where it is. Okay, now 
it's expecting that uh, in user local bin that I, I have a symbolic link here. So I'm going to say ln dash s this target and then my link and there we have the symbolic link okay so now now finally I'm going to go back I'm doing, going to clear this I'm going to do system control restart n8n -N. Now I'm going to check the status. Okay, so now it is running. Okay, finally. Now now I'm going to go back to the browser and I'm going to see if it's running. Okay, I'm back to my browser. I'm just going to refresh. And Okay, so after a little troubleshooting, I did find that the service is configured to run as user N8N. I actually don't want that. I want it to run as root. So I'm going to change the user and group to root and write it out. This is in the configuration file, n8n.service. I don't know if you can see that. Let me scroll it up so you can see it. But let me re reload. I'm going to clear so you can see what I'm typing in here. Here I'm going to do the system D reload, daemon reload, and system control. Restart N8M. Okay, now I'm going to give it one more try. Back at the browser. Refresh and bingo, now it comes up. So there were a few steps along the way. Uh, if you do follow the tutorial for the direct install, I'll provide the link in the description. Number one, make sure that you create the symbolic link in user local bin. And secondly, uh, make sure, well, actually there's three. Secondly, make sure you set the N8N secure cookie environment variable to false. And third, enter the, edit the N8N.service and set the user and group to root so that your service uh, runs at root. Now I'm, I'm going to go back and I'm going to retest this just to make sure that the service comes up after a reboot. So I'm going to do a shutdown dash R now and let's see what happens. Okay, the system has rebooted. I've logged back in. I'm going to log in as root. And I'm going to do system control status N8N. Okay, so it says it's running. Now I'm going to go to the browser and test it out again. Okay, I'm in the browser I've typed in the URL. I'm going to press enter. And great, it, it did come up. So just to recap, um, you can follow the tutorial. I provide a link uh, thanks to the person who, I don't know who created the tutorial, but thanks to this person who did this. Thanks for watching. Um, Please like and subscribe.